custom dashboard. This is going to be an awesome uh, feature if you're delivering it to the clients. So what you can actually do is let's go to the page and let's uh, create a custom dashboard or you can write welcome or whatever you want and it's going to be outputted based on the template you are creating. So just add some more and ipsum. Perfect. And here you can actually uh, uh, write some info who they need to contact if there is uh, some support needed or you can actually add uh, contact email and then it can be mail too and then you can just uh, write your email uh, and let's just publish this one so uh, view page you can copy it and we can uh, paste the URL so once we save the changes let's go to the dashboard and you can see that uh, this one uh, replaced it uh, right away. And sorry for the error uh, message, it's going to be uh, removed. This is uh, in a beta version of the plugin. So you can see that uh, we have the header and footer. So let's just uh, fix that one. Uh, what we can do is we can go to the appearance editor under the templates. And there is already a blank so perfect uh, what we can do is uh, edit page so pages custom dashboard and we can uh, change the template for uh, from a page to blank have the update and we can close those and let's see what we have here so uh, apparently we don't have the title there so let's just copy this one and we can change it to the heading update uh, then let's uh, help uh, your customer by adding some uh, YouTube video as well if you go to the YouTube let's just grab the, the first one we have here share copy close so we don't miss on this music embed and uh, uh, the customer will have the video that he can watch but you can go even further with this so let's uh, remove this uh, YouTube video let's remove this one and let's create a decent documentation for your uh, for your client so what we can do here, uh, I installed the custom post uh, UI and I'm going to create a post type, so docs, 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 it's going to be a post type and let's uh, use a faker. So let's create uh, like a 10 uh, documentations uh, posts you don't need the tags categories you don't even need the uh, feature images we just need the this is an example so what you can see the we created the uh, 10 tutorials for uh, for your client and what we can do actually we can use a loop query loop start blank uh, and let's remove this one and we don't even need a pagination and we don't need uh, no results because we know that we already have results and uh, for the settings sorry it's Yeah. Post type, we can use docs. And uh, while it's loading, not sure why it stopped loading. 
Uh, let's check. Update. Reload. Yeah. Loop. Docs. And then uh, let's write 10. And then for a post title, we can use the make this as a link. And then let's open it in a new tab. So, what we can do is uh, we can prepare the tutorials for a client. Uh, and then you can ha have the entire uh, documentation in a dashboard. So if we go to the dashboard, the client will see it like this and he can read uh, tutorial 1, tutorial 2 and then once he press it, it's going to open in a new tab. And if you don't want that those uh, tutorials are visible, uh, you will use the SEO plugin to hide it from a Google search so nobody is going to see them anyway. So I hope uh, you like how you can uh, now with the admin cleaner extend the dashboard, create totally custom and you can use uh, any uh, page builder or any uh, team uh, to create those. Uh, in this case I use the Gutenberg, you can use the bricks, you can use the oxygen uh, or whatever builder you prefer. And one last thing before I leave from this tutorial, let's just close those. Uh, the question is if the user is uh, logged out, can he actually see this page? Let me just uh, show you. Let's do it in incognito mode. So you can see uh, it's going to be redirected uh, right away to the the home page uh, because what we are actually doing is we go to this one custom dashboard uh, we are using this as a link as a keyframe but also we are doing the re redirection so whatever page you paste here the users that are not not logged in or not the admins they are going to be redirected to the home page so uh, this is uh, why it's a uh, safe to use it uh, from your current website you don't need to create an external website to have the custom uh, dashboard so whatever your page uh, you paste users will going to be redirected so they are not able to see the dashboard page if they are not the login thank you for watching and bye